when we start looking at this problem, the most important thing to pick out, first of all, is what are our givens, aka what do we know from our problem? What is the problem giving us to solve it? So we read that heparin comes 25,000 units. And that's going to be diluted in 500 milliliters. So for this problem, it doesn't really matter that the problem gives us that it's in that half normal saline, that 0.45 sodium chloride. That really doesn't matter for this problem because we're just concerned about the math and what we're going to be programming our pump with. Of course, if we're in the clinical setting, we're going to do our um, you know, five or six rights of medication administration to make sure it's the right medication and everything like that. But for the purposes of this problem, we're just going to focus on the math and the numbers that we're given. So we also know that our patient weighs 78 kilograms. And our order is to administer 18 units per kilogram per hour. So the very first thing we want to figure out is, well, how many units are we going to give per hour? So to do this is really simple. All we're going to do is take our order, which is 18 units per kilogram, and we're going to multiply that by our patient's weight. So we know from the problem, like what I already said, that our patient's weight is 78 kilograms. So we're going to multiply 18 units times 78 kilograms. And let me do the math here real quick. It's going to give us 1,404 units per hour that we need to administer to our patient. So there's our answer for part A. It's going to be 1,404 units per hour. For part B, we're going to talk about if we're programming this into an IV pump at the hospital. So what we're going to start with is, well, how many units do we need to give total in an hour? And we just figured that out. So it's going to be 1,404 units. Next, we're going to set this up like a stoichiometry problem. So we're going to multiply this, draw our line, and we're going to move units to the bottom so that they'll cancel out. And then we ultimately want to get our answer in milliliters because we want to figure out how many milliliters per hour rather than how many units per hour. So when we get this, we know from our medication label that we have 25,000 units diluted in 500 milliliters. So we're going to take our 500 milliliters and put that on top. And we know that there's 25,000 units in those 500 milliliters. So to do this, all we have to do is multiply straight across the top which, so we're going to do our 1,404 times 500, and then we're going to divide that number by 25,000, which ultimately is going to give us 28.08 milliliters per hour. And it really depends on your IV pump. So some IV pumps are going to want you to have um, a whole number, which would be 28 milliliters per hour. Some will allow you to round to the tenths place, so you could do 28.1 milliliters per hour.